The last way we are going to learn how to solve a system of equation is by a process called elimination. This is my personal favorite. And uh, I want to review real quick that a linear system is two or more equations with the same variables. The solution is always an ordered pair, an x and a y, that makes both equations true. We've learned how to solve graphically, use in substitution, and now we're going to use a algebraic process called elimination. Alright, so here are the steps. There's four steps when you're doing elimination. You are going to look for an x or a y value that has a coefficient. The coefficient's the number in front of the x or the y that is the same or opposite. So in this particular example, you can see that my um, x coefficient in both equations is 2. They're the same. Ha, that's exactly one of the things I'm looking for. Okay, if they are the same, I want to multiply the second equation by negative 1. Now, you guys, you can actually multiply the first equation. I just always do it the exact same way. So I multiply the second equation by negative 1. Now, when I say that, look carefully, because I multiply first the, the 2x, and I got negative 2x. Then I multiply the 5y, I got negative 5y. Then I multiply the 13. That's the number one thing people do wrong, is they forget to multiply every single thing on both sides of the equal sign by negative 1. And I got negative 13. Now the reason I did this is I am trying to create an opposite coefficient. Because the third step is that I'm going to add these two equations. And when I add them together, you can see that 2x and negative 2x cancel each other out and give me 0. So I'm not going to write down 0. 3y plus negative 5y is negative 2y. And 11 minus 13 is negative 2. Now, as you can see, my x's have been eliminated. So now I'm just going to solve for y. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2. And I'm going to get y equals positive 1. So now remember, the solution to a system is an ordered pair, an x and a y value. And I've already got my y value. I'm going to put 1 there. Now, Step four is I'm going to take that answer and I'm going to plug it back into one of my original equations. So I'm going to take this answer and I'm going to plug it back in for y. And then I'm going to solve this. And this is just a two-step equation you know how to solve. And when I do solve it, sorry, I had to move it over so I can give myself a little more room. Um, I get that x equals 4. So I'm going to put that up into my ordered pair because this is the solution. Please don't do all this awesome work and forget to give me the answer, which is a coordinate point, an ordered pair, x and y. All right. What if I get a system like this? Now, again, remember I am looking for coefficients that are opposites or the same. So I'm looking here, I've got negative x plus 4y. Well, I would agree, if you would, that that's really a negative 1x, and this is really a 1x. Remember lonely variables? We usually put a 1 in front of them. So in this particular instance, I already have a um, opposites. And that's what we're trying to create is opposites so that we can eliminate an, a variable. So in this case, I don't have to multiply anything by negative 1. I have my opposites. I can just add these two equations together. When I do, negative x and 1x cancel out and give me 0. Then I have 7y equals negative 14. And I have a one-step equation I know how to solve. When I do that, I get that y equals negative 2. Now, normally when I'm doing this, I go ahead and I, at the very beginning, I just set up my answer 
a kind of a template for my answer. So I know what my y value is. I'm going to put it in there. That is negative 2. To find my x value, again, I have to take this and plug it back up into one of my original equations. And I think I'm just going to plug it into the first one right there. So that is going to give me negative 1x plus 4 times negative 2 equals 10. And then I'm going to simplify this to negative 1x minus 8 equals 10. And again, it's a two-step equation you know how to solve. And when I did solve it, I got a negative 18. Now remember, anytime you have negative 1x, you have to divide everything by negative 1. <clears throat> All right, let's do one more example, and then I'm going to have you do an independent practice. My system is 4x plus 3y equals 2 and 5x plus 3y equals negative 2. I'm looking for coefficients that are the same or opposites. Well, obviously my 4 and 5 coefficients are not, but look, I've got 3y and 3y. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply everything on the second equation by negative 1 because I want to create an opposite. Now, I've been doing this quite a long while, and here's one of the things I see that students do wrong. They try to get in a hurry and take shortcuts. Please, write both the equations off to the side after you... Don't try to work from your original equations by writing it underneath. It just doesn't work. Okay, so negative uh, 5x minus 3y equals positive 2. Now that I've got these... I'm going to add them together. Remember that a lot of um, math is organization and how you organize your work. So I get that my x value is negative 4. So again, I'm going to go ahead and start my template for my answer right up here. My x value is negative 4. Just have to find my y. And to find my y, I'm going to take this value and I'm going to plug it in probably just in my top equation. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to get simplifying, I'm going to get negative 16 plus 3y equals 2. And again, this is a two-step equation that you know how to solve. Now I'm going to zip through this because we have done so many of these I don't want to bog you down. If you need to take more time, pause the video and kind of go through my steps in your head. And when I solve this, I got that y equals 4. So please don't forget to put that, or not 4, 6, sorry, uh, put that 6 in your answer. And this is the answer to this system, negative 4, 6. All right, so just to recap, you look for coefficients that are opposites or the same and if they are the same, you create an opposite by multiplying your second equation, everything in your second equation, by negative 1. You add the equations to solve for a variable. Then you plug that variable back into your, one of your original equations to solve for your other variable. All right, I would like you to write this system down, then pause the video and solve it, and then come back and compare your answer to mine. Pause your video now. Please make sure you write this one in your notes if you haven't written anything else, as your teacher will ask to see it. All right. The answer I got was 1, 1. X equals 1, Y equals 1. Please compare that to your work. If you got the same answer, then you're ready to do your first set of practice. If you didn't, please go back and identify your error and have a little talk with your teacher.